a look around, if you will, and you'll probably notice what I've noticed, and that it's grey. But we've got a solution, and the solution is some simple fun in the form of an advanced bird that, through trial and error, learns to fly in slow motion. So, right now you're a bird. Imagine that. <laughs> Sitting behind wherever you are, or standing wherever you are, you are now a bird, and you're flying very gently through the Wertheim Park. Wertheim Park is one of the spots I come to chill, so to say. Uh, in the summer, this bank, well, it, is, it looks very um, grayish, but that's because it is a gray, uh, yeah, it's the gray season. But in the summer, this is full of people sitting, talking, laughing, uh, just enjoying themselves. And the water is, uh, it's a traffic jam of boats, you know, all kinds of boats, big boats, small boats, fast boats, tourist boats, all kinds of boats. And so, uh, in the summer, we'll have another flight through the park. But right now, we're just uh, doing some laid-back bird stuff and uh, try and imagine what life would be like if we could fly. I don't know if you ever think of that. I, I, when I was a kid, of course, I spent a lot of time planning how to, <laughs> how to fly. Never made it, of course. <laughs> And um, there are times I, I'm on like the ferry crossing the eye from north to south or the other way around and you have uh, gulls passing by and I just look at one of them and it's just so, so cool to see the way it flies through the sky, it dives, it swoops and there are even times when I believe it knows I'm looking <laughs> and, and decides to start showing off. Uh, I can't prove that but that's what I feel like. So on our slow motion flights, I want you to imagine just how cool it would be if we could fly around. <laughs> it would also be um, pretty uh, uh, dangerous. You know, imagine if, if it, so you go to um, the Friday afternoon uh, drinks, after Friday afternoon drinks, and you take off <laughs> and want to go home. I mean, that would be some funky stuff in the air. So uh, yeah. So that's, that's, that's um, a good one. Anyway, in front of us, you see these birds, are, the reason they're sitting, the reason they're, they're not flying is they are incredibly Im impressed with uh, your ability to fly in slow motion, aren't you birds? Yep, see they're walking away. It's uh, shame, it's not fear at all. It's just pure shame that they haven't figured out how to fly in slow motion. Um, yeah, you do. I mean, there is a thing known as bird envy that, um, for example, the birds have... Uh, yeah, they have a class system, a caste system, actually. Um, I'm studying that at the moment. <laughs> I'm very sure there's somebody somewhere in some university who's written a paper on caste systems amongst uh, birds. Um, I'll look for that. <laughs> It'd be really funny to find it. But anyway, so... Uh, what, oh, yeah, I was saying that, uh, yeah, the birds are sort of basically uh, jealous of your ability to fly at such a low speed you know they they it, it's you know we've got our um our search for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow the search for the grand unification theory and of course um uh, the way of uh i don't know just uh, finding other other life forms on other planets so these are things that occupy a lot of our minds well, in the case of birds, what they have is slow motion flight. That you don't realize this, but in my studies on the whole caste system of birds, I discovered that one of the things they really care a lot about, and there's a lot of research going on in the bird world, about how to fly in slow motion. And you've done it, you've done it. So naturally, the birds are going to be pretty jealous. Well, on that um, rather pompous note, <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye.